Okay ladies and gents, welcome back to part 6 of the homemade CNC needle cutter machine. Um, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to assemble the um, Ardinio Uno board and the CNC shield uh, that accompanies it. They're really, really small components, as you can see, so uh, as I go along, I'll just have to hold it up to the camera and hope that you can see what I'm doing. Um, first of all, we take a look at the CNC shield. I'll bring that up to the camera. First of all, we have to put this jumper wire and solder it on. Uh, the reason for that is the CNC shield goes onto the, the UNO board Oops, like this, like a piggyback sort of thing. So our power is going to come from um, a computer transformer, you know, like you have on your laptop. It's going to come into here, but to transfer the power round onto the top CNC shield, you need to solder on this uh, positive jumper wire. It just makes it easy, so... You can pull the two boards apart and um, you know to, to work on them to adjust it to do whatever and you don't have to disconnect your wires otherwise you have to bring a jumper from the bottom board up to these two connector terminals here which means unscrewing it which is a bit of a, a pain in the bum so uh, first job up is to solder this little uh, jumper wire on once you've done that we next have to take a look at the drivers these are the drivers for the stepper motors yeah what actually makes it work those go piggyback onto the cnc shield board like so i'll show you that in more detail a bit later on the first job that we've got to do is to glue these little tiny heat sinks onto the chip on this board just for cooling excuse me just for cooling purposes the sticky backed but my goodness they're so fiddly you just have to remove the backing tape eye it up and stick it on very carefully without touching any of the other pins like so I don't know if the camera can actually zoom in on that but that's what we're looking for so we do that on both of them which is only a two second job really Oops. firm press okay that's the other one like I say in previous videos it doesn't help when you've got really fat fingers doing this sort of micro work the next job I have to do is to put the jumpers on CNC uh, shield which are these tiny little parts they're only jumpers there's three on each axis and that controls the actual steps or the resolution of the steps for the stepper motors so we require three I'm going to use a pair of tweezers for this because like I say it's, it's a little bit fiddly as he drops one let's try it by hand got one on. This is the x-axis that I'm doing first. I'll lift it up to the camera when I've done it. If I use the screwdriver to point you'll be able to see hopefully. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis here and these are the three jumpers that I'm uh, just slotting on. The next three go onto these six pins here, if you can see that. 
So let's pop them on. They go on quite well actually. Okay, so you should be able to see if the camera will pick it up. We've got the three and we've got the three. That's the x axis, that's the y axis. Now, all we have to do is to put these on the top. Yep, one on each axis. Just make sure that the pins are lined up. Press it on. Make sure the orientation's right as well because they will go on both ways. There's a tiny little uh, pot there for adjustment purposes. Um, hopefully that's preset. I think it should be. And then on goes the y-axis driver. Just make sure it lines up with all the holes, all the pins. Okay. That's the CNC shield board built up, ready to go. <clears throat> if I can just explain a little bit about the board. These uh, terminals here are going to be um, the voltage, well, it takes the voltage direct to the, the little motor that we've got on the cutting head. Um, the pins in the middle down there and at the side there, they go to each relative stepper motor, the X or the Y. Um, the servo connector for the Z axis connects onto these pins at the end over here. So now we've got that built up, we can actually put it piggyback onto the UNO, which again is a bit of a delicate operation because you don't want to bend the pins okay looking good now we've got the complete unit as you can see and it all fits nice now what I have to do is actually take it apart and attach the UNO board onto the machine um, again I've already put uh, some 3 mil bolts through the, the end plate and that will fit the board. It is a bit of a tight fit, I have tried it on but it does go on. What I'll do, I'll just put this on with a couple of nuts so we can see what we're doing. Hopefully, easier said than done because like I say these nuts are so small and they're in such an awkward place. Need to be a bit of a gynaecologist to do this. So I'll just put those on and what I'll do is I'll lift it up to the camera to show you. Hopefully. Probably should have done this off camera really. Yes, they won't go on. Not easily anyway. Get the third one on. Pop the CNC shield back on. And there we have it. If I just turn that round to you, you'll be able to see what we're up to. That's the installed board. Um, I have found on Thingiverse that there is a box that can be made to protect all this, which I'll print off at a later date. Uh, once I've got it connected up and once I know that it all works, I'll you know get this box printed off and um, hopefully that will protect the electronics. So what's the next stage? The next part of the the build is 
is to make the wiring loom. Um, the wiring loom, if I bring this a bit further into camera shot, the wiring loom, obviously you've got cables going from the UNO board to the stepper motors. You've got two stepper motors, obviously, with the, with the X-rail. And then the wires will go off to power the motor and the Z servo as well. So that's going to be the next stage. Um, shouldn't take too long to do that, I don't think. So, thank you very much for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like and uh, give us a thumbs up if you do. And uh, I hope you come back to the next video to see how we're getting on. Okay then, folks. I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Bye.